Thank you for coming. <laughs> all right. Today is all about your message. Find your message. Everyone has a message, and I want you to find it. And all this started probably a good 12 months ago where we started having conversations in the workplace about what does my job be uh, mean? What do I say to people when I'm at a barbecue? And one of the things you need to know before you start talking to people about what you do is who's the audience? Everyone has to know their audience. So I started having to do a little bit of research about who I want my audience to be. Um, and I suddenly came across um, some work that I did when I was in PNG. And I found that there's lots of different groups out there. The story you tell to one group, group of miners in the back of a um, trippy, is going to be different to the kid that you find on the stockpiles who's going through the, the gold. Um, so I found my, my audience is gener um, Generation Z. Because um, I am the father of two Generation Zs, um, I needed to know a bit more about them. So I um, googled a few things, as you do. <laughs> And uh, well, the first thing I came up with is this um, company called um, McKindle who do a lot of work. Now I'm going to leave this slide up for two presentations because that allows the people that are not Generation Z to read it all. Um, <laughs> but also allows those that are already finished reading it to Twitter and do what they need to do. <laughs> so the other thing I learned doing the research was that you need to have more visuals when you are talking to <laughs> the younger generation. What we need to be doing is making sure that we have a lot of pictures, we have a lot of information available to them when you put it up. So again, there's no reason why you guys haven't seen the infographics. They are really becoming very popular around the place these days. Um, and I think what we need to do as hygienists is start getting that message out to um, our, our audience using this sort of material and not just leaving reports. Get the information out in graphic form. Have it out there so that people can see it and understand what they are looking at. And, you know, Absorb that information very quickly. Um, the other part is to tell your story and tell it in a, in a story format. So you can start at the middle and then ending. Get your story out there. Every one of you has a story here and you need to get out there. Um, what a lot of how I got into this was that um, I found one day that my kids were using the phone, my phone, to take selfies of themselves. Um, when I wasn't there, um, which led me to understand what the kids were feeling and how they, what they were up to. Um, and so I started doing the same for them and started taking photos of myself at work. Um, there's a couple of photos missing there, but that's all right. Um, seemed to go on to the next slide. That's interesting. We um, started taking photos of myself so that everyone could see what was going on. Um, the kids at home could see me at work and understand a bit more when I spoke to them that night uh, as to what I've been doing. But then I also started using those photos that I was taking at work to show people at work what was going on. And that visual message uh, was getting across to these guys a lot quicker and easier when I show them a, a couple of filters uh, which are actually dirty and they'd understand that better than an exposure standard or you know, that's exceeding exposure standard. So what I ended up doing is doing more and more of this and started posting it and putting it on Instagram and I'm getting things out on Twitter and I'm not professing to be any media magnate but um, all this information's out there and so um, Instagram became probably my popular one and I'm getting lots of pictures up on Instagram using the hashtag occupational hygiene. So if you haven't used Instagram or you're not familiar with a lot of this, those hashtags are like having a little post-it note on the picture. It makes it easier for you to find it later on. It makes it other people who've got the same interests easier to find it too. Twitter is the other big one that's out there now as well. That's a really self-promotion on that one. That's my Twitter page. Um, I got known as the hygienist who tweets. Um, don't know how that one stuck, but I seem to be the only one that's doing it at the moment at the conference. But the other thing that's come out is with the conference committee is that we've started promoting um, YouTube. YouTube is being used by more people now. It's the second only to Google for doing searches to find out how to do things. Um, so the AOH committee has um, pushed for the development of more and more videos of what occupational hygiene is out to the market. Um, the other option for people who um, are not prepared to do uh, YouTube or to do Twitter and those things is to, to run your own blog. And um, my wife is uh, starting to wonder a little bit that how much I'm following Kate, but um, <laughs> that is a really good way. And if you haven't seen Kate's presentation um, on the video slides upstairs, um, I, I wish you could do, do that. And I guess what I'm trying to do is to have everybody out there one day wanting to be like a hygienist. We want to have groupies. We want to have people following us on Twitter. We want to have the million followers like Katy Perry and uh, Barack Obama and those people like that who are putting that message out there and having it out there. I've just put that slide back up there for those who don't know much about Generation Z, just again, so you can read a little bit more about it. Um, but it's really important that you understand that these kids 
um, uh, seeing more and more of the world um, through this, this media, and we need to be really onto that for them.